All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So two bits of Jets news here. Uh, the first, not so good, Greg Zerline ruled out for the Dallas Cowboys game this Sunday, and obviously it sucks. Greg Zerline has been my favorite kicker that the Jets have had in years. I, I mean, he's been the best kicker that the Jets have had in years as well. Um, and also, you know, putting myself in the shoes of Zerline, you know, he had so much success with the Dallas Cowboys. It just would have been so cool to suit up for a new team, go back down to Dallas and, you know, show the show the Cowboys, hey, you know what, I, I can still play. So that's first and foremost. But we do have some good news here. The Jets quickly pivoted. They replaced him. They brought in kicker, former Brown, former Bengal, former Lion, Austin Seibert. At 30 years old, he came into the league in 2019. And total, when we look at total numbers with extra points, He's been 55 of 61, which is just over 90%. And then field goals made, he's right around 80%, 44 out of 55 attempts. So, you know, I think in a quick move, I, I mean, the game is literally tomorrow. You know, so the Jets had to make a move. Um, it, it was one thing where, you know, Zerline was 50-50, uh, we talked about it, uh, I believe it was actually yesterday. Sala said, you know, Zerline got hurt in practice earlier in the week. And whenever you're in a position like that, it's not like Zerline got hurt in the game. And it's just, it, it's like, okay, we can, you know, have a entire week to kind of scan the market, bring in guys for different uh, workouts and whatnot, and make the best decision moving forward. You know, if we're talking about a, a kicker's availability being undecided on a Friday, and then Saturday, he's ruled out. We have to make a move. Like, like, like there's no other, uh, no, no question about it. We take a deeper look into, you know, his range, right? Cybert's range from 30 plus yards, 40 plus yards, and then 50 and beyond. The numbers are pretty typical here. From 30 to 39, he's 19 of 19. So perfect. From 40 to 49 yards, he's 17 of 24, and then 50 and beyond, two from six. So obviously the goal is to score touchdowns here, right? First and foremost, but that's always the goal. But, you know, I, I will say this, in the event that the Jets opt to kick a long field goal here, a 54-yarder, a 55-yarder, whatever the case may be, you know, it, 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 and it's also a situation where the Jets can't afford to go for it. It's not a fourth and two. It's like a fourth and 11, and it's going to be a long field goal. The, the the bright spot here, we're going to be playing in a dome. It's not like we're out, you know, in a, you know, in the, in the middle of winter in Soldier Field or Arrowhead or, you know, Lambeau. We're in a dome, you know, so controlled environment. And I really think the pregame is going to be big, uh, be big for him. So anyway, that's the news. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, go Jets.